Regional Air Transportation and CSME take center stage at the opening of CARICOM Heads Conference in Jamaica. Details to this story and more in the National Report. With the National Report, I'm Delroy Louison. Regional transportation in the context of the CARICOM single market and economy took up much of the attention of CARICOM heads at the official opening of their 39th regular meeting in Montego Bay, Jamaica on Wednesday. The Prime Minister of Barbados, the Honorable Mia Motley, told regional heads that the single domestic airspace for hassle-free intra-regional travel is of critical importance. She says this presupposes a single domestic space for transportation. If we are serious about regional air travel, then we must address the fundamental concerns of Liat and Cal and come to the conclusion that we can certainly do better than we are doing in 2018 with respect to moving people between island to island and country to country. Prime Minister Motley's Antiguan colleague, the Honorable Gaston Brown, also addressed the subject of regional air transport. He said, even if we solve all the technical issues surrounding the CSME, we will achieve nothing unless the means to transport goods and people across the region are implemented. I say to this meeting, if we are to manifest our seriousness about a single market, and if we are to convince the Caribbean people of our commitment to regional integration, we must act to establish effective regional transportation, even at the cost of a subsidy in its early stages. It's inescapable. The, the time for talking has passed. The excuses are stale and they are irrelevant. The time for action is now. Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell says the region must build critical partnerships to take advantage of what he refers to as the new normal for small economies of the Caribbean. Addressing his colleague heads at the start of the 39th regular meeting in Jamaica on Wednesday, the Grenadian leader said government, academics, the business community, civil society and trade unions, among others, must be a part of the process, something which Grenada is already aware of. He says it's also important that there is renewed and continuous engagement with the youth population and the vehicle to take us forward in this vein is science, technology, engineering, mathematics and information communication technology. In a few months, we will be launching a multi-stakeholder partnership to fast track specific elements of the single ICT space. Our steps in fully implementing this must continue to be clear, even while we push the proverbial technological envelope, so to speak, in rooting out and connecting other pro programs and policies to transform the community. This is the National Report. More news after the break. But in a single mom, child is hard to mind. Deadbeat fathers does make me sick. Let's do something to get rid of this problem quick. Yes, this is me, Rootsman Kelly, 2017 Calypso Monarch of Grenada, Karakou, and Pitimatnik. I'm inviting you, everyone, come down to Spice Mass 2018 and enjoy yourself with me. Remember, you will be enjoying the Jab Jab, Traditional Mass, Juve, Soka Monarch, and of course, the Dimarch Gra 2018 will be the best ever. No, 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 you always hides me on your shoulder Wondering about this new kid on the block Youth man learn, me say youth man learn Youth man, you will get your turn Come down to Grenada and enjoy yourself Plastic rice, plastic cheese and plastic corn Welcome back Still in the news, the Caribbean Court of Justice is well positioned to dispense justice in an efficient manner. That assurance from the Honorable Mr. Adrian Saunders, the third president of the CCJ, during his swearing-in ceremony on Wednesday. The ceremony preceded the official opening of the CARICOM Heads meeting in Montego Bay. 
pointing out that he is the only president of the CCJ who has received legal training entirely in the Caribbean, Mr. Sanders said this signals the growing maturity of the court as it moves forward as another Caribbean institution, forging its own destiny and catering to the needs of the region. We, who have produced such beloved icons as Derek Walcott and Telford Georges, Hugh Wooding and Usain Bolt, Gary Sobers and Vidya Naipaul, Arthur Lewis, Bob Marley, to list just a few, have no good reason to doubt our ability to grasp full responsibility for interpreting and applying our own laws. This is an obligation that is naturally assumed by all civilized peoples. It is remarkable and regrettable that there are still some who have misgivings about the region's capacity to discharge that responsibility in an efficient and effective manner. He says with the time and resources the court invests in making the administration of justice more efficient and improving the quality of judges, everything is set for the CCJ to become as accepted as institutions like the Caribbean Development Bank and the University of the West Indies. The states of Grenada and Antigua and Barbuda are the only countries that absolutely require a referendum to accede to the appellate jurisdiction of the CCJ. I am extremely heartened to learn that the Prime Ministers of these states have recently publicly indicated their desire and intention respectively to hold such a poll with a view to joining the states of Guyana, Barbados, Belize and Dominica in sending their final appeals to the CCG. Given the resilience of the Caribbean people, I fervently believe that the only logical path will ultimately be taken by the other states, hopefully sooner rather than later. And finally, 123 soca artists will grace the stage from Thursday, July 5th for the first round of preliminary judging. This as the Spice Mass Cooperation unfold activities leading up to Carnival on August 13th and 14th. Preliminary judging runs for three nights into Sunday, July 8th. CEO of the Spice Mass Cooperation, Kirk Sitahal, said supporters are in for a competitive Soka Monarch this year. We move into the preliminary round of uh, Soka uh, from Thursday, um, from Thursday, uh, July 5th to the 8th. So we're going to have artists appearing on Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, this year we had 123 artists registering for the soca aspect of the competition. Groovy artists will be on stage from July 13th to 15th, followed by Calypso 10 judging. The Groovy prelims uh, starts on the 13th of July, so it will be the Friday, Saturday and Sunday. We have had 101 registrants for the preliminary round of competition in Groovy, so we're expecting keen competition. There is a lot of excitement out there about the quality of music that has been released this year, so we expect it to be a keen competition. Um, from there, we move over to the 10 judging aspect um, for Calypso. Um, on Wednesday, July 18th, we'll have the Breakaway Tent. On July 19th, we'll have the Rootsman Tent. Um, on the 20th, we have the Northwest Brigade. On the 21st, we have the Kaisobards, and on July 22nd, we have Calypso Kingdom. Sita Hal made a special appeal for senior Calypsonians to take a keen interest in ensuring that the art form does not perish. I want to make a special call for the Calypso tents themselves, the senior Calypsonians who also talk about the art form dying, to come out and at least mentor or support these kids in some form or the other. And with that story, we end today's news. Now recapping the main story, Regional Air Transportation and CSME take center stage at the opening of CARICOM Heads Conference in Jamaica. And that's the National Report. On behalf of all who made this newscast possible, I'm Delroy Louison. Pleasant viewing.